to my bedroom. Okay, so here is the deal. Currently my bedroom is pretty empty. I feel like for most of the renovations and the makeover, I've been focusing on the main living area space, which if you haven't seen the makeover video and like the whole empty tour that I did, it was in my last apartment makeover video. That area is still not done yet. Like I feel like I'll be reworking it for a while. I still need to put up art and plants and a lot of other things. We'll do more living room updates in future videos, but today I really wanted to tackle the bedroom because I feel like since I moved in, I've really been lacking like my little cozy bedroom bedroom area, which in the spirit of this whole apartment makeover keyword being cozy, I feel like the bedroom is like the number one priority in terms of coziness because, you know, it's your bedroom. You need it to be as cozy as possible. Don't you hate that when like the little claw part of your necklace like comes around? How is it 2023 and we still haven't figured that out yet? We have a pretty blank canvas in this room. I feel like in my old place, because my bedroom shared like windows with the living room, I didn't really have too much space to decorate. There wasn't that much wall space because there was like closet, the glass door windows, and then um, one of the walls had the bathroom door. But for this one, we have like quite a few empty wall spaces and a sufficient amount of space. Let's get started. Unlike the living room main area space, I actually don't have a complete vision for the bedroom yet. So I feel like it'll probably take on many iterations as I tweak it. Anyway, I'm rambling. I feel like things will just come together as we get started. This is the wall where the infamous rotating TV was. As you can see, we have quite a lot of wall space to work with. That is just a regular closet. And then we have this wall as well. This over here is where the windows are. And I don't know if you can tell, but the windows are kind of all like on an angle. It is kind of weirdly shaped. Okay, one of my favorite things that I did in the living room space was bring in the light linen curtains and put them over top of the roller blade, roller blades, roller shades that the condo already came with because I feel like it just brought so much lightness, airiness, texture, warmth. And recently it's been warmer in Toronto as well. So I've been opening the windows and it's just such a vibe when the curtains are like slightly blowing in the breeze. I feel like it just makes my Studio Ghibli lo-fi anime lover heart so happy because like I don't know that's just what I picture when I picture like a Studio Ghibli film in in their like cozy cottage apartment so of course I wanted to do the same thing in this bedroom the bedroom also has those roller shades as well they're actually blackout shades in the bedroom the living room ones weren't blackout so it is really handy to have the blackout ones which is why I don't want to get rid of them completely so I got the curtain tracks installed in front of the roller shades and that way I can still use the blackout curtains if I want them but we're gonna put up the linen ones right now There's this weird like valence, so you can see the ceiling is not the same level, so I actually had to get curtains that were different lengths so that it would split like half and half like this. <laughs> because six months ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to lift that up to do this. So I'm kind of proud of myself. So while I do like the look of my white duvet cover and comforter, I feel like it looks very like light and airy, I do want to kind of add a little bit of color just so that my whole apartment isn't just like white and beige. I feel like sometimes I get in the trap of like getting everything neutral because I want everything to match, but then it looks a little bit boring. So I actually got this quilt from Pottery Barn Teen and Pottery Barn Teen was actually kind enough to send a bunch of items for this video, like the rug and this quilt. And I feel like this is a perfect thing to like experiment, add a little bit of color and personality in my bedroom without having to like overcommit and like 
paint walls, get new furniture, just changing up little things like bedding and stuff and that way it'll feel a little bit different from my old bedroom in my last place. So I got this little quilt and I really like it because it's sage green which you guys know is one of my favorite colors and I feel like it'll add like a nice soft touch as well especially with all these textures on it. Let's try it out. of decorative cushions from Pottery Barn Teen to experiment with. Definitely more than I need in the bedroom, so I'm probably going to use some of them on the couch in my living room as well. But I'm so excited for this ginormous body pillow because I definitely like having something to hug when I sleep. Makes it look like it's at like a hotel or something. And then I have these two really cute sage green cushions that match the bedding perfectly. This one's like a flower shape and this one has knitted texture which adds to the textures going on here. I think that looks really cute. So I actually ended up taking off the green quilt because it was kind of a lot of color for me. I think I need to slowly wean myself into having that much color, but for now, I really like the look of having like my original white duvet with the green accents. And the good thing about the quilt is that if I ever decide that I do like the green, I can just throw it back on top or during the winter when it gets cold, it's kind of like an extra blanket. I like the way this looks right now. Once I get plants for this, it's gonna look so cute. <laughs> but for now, they're hanging baskets. So I got this desk that I'm actually using as a vanity table in my bedroom. It's where I like do my makeup, get ready. And the reason why I got this one is because it matches the nightstand that I got. So I thought it would like be more cohesive and it kind of acts as a second nightstand because I'm not doing the whole thing where you put like nightstands on both sides. I don't know how I fully feel about it yet. It's not a full slate to me, like I don't think I like the layout that much. I, th I don't know what's bothering me. But for now, this is what we're gonna work with. I'm needing to remind myself that this is not the final form of any room, like I can always change things if I need to. I don't know what it is, but I always feel like whatever I decide ends up being permanent, which is definitely not the case. Like I can always change things and switch things out if it feels good, but at least for the sake of this video, this is what we're doing. As I live in it, we can see how it works out. I'm gonna set up my vanity table and put all my makeup stuff there now. Ikea pegboard on the wall. While we were putting up the pegboard, I moved the vanity off to the corner a little bit like on this angle and that was when I realized that I actually like it at an angle. I think it actually like balances the room a little bit better because of the like weird trapezoid shape. It also kind of gives it its own space and area instead of making it feel like it's connected to like the bed area if that makes sense. I have it at this corner here and I'm gonna put the makeup brushes and stuff on the pegboard using the cups and stuff that go with the pegboard just so that it can look 
a little bit cleaner here but so far i'm really liking this like little vanity corner i also ordered an actual like vanity stool this one that i'm using was from my white vanity from before like five years ago and it has like this strip fabric i don't think it really matches that well so i got this little ottoman but it hasn't come in yet so we're using this for now So here I'm actually building a shelf. I wanted to have a little shelf in my bedroom for extra items and storage. The shelf is actually a shoe rack that I got from Ikea, but I ended up getting multiple of them and stacking it so that I could have different levels. I wanted something that was narrow because this walkway at the front of my bed is not super spacious. Most of the things that I put on it are like extra makeup items at the bottom, um, my ukuleles, and this is also where I put all of my cozy vibe items like my candles. Um, I have my galaxy light and a neon light as well for those nighttime aesthetic vibes. Guys, I'm so excited because look at what I got. It's a Miffy humidifier. I wanted a humidifier because as I've been living here, I've realized that the air is really dry. It's so bad. It's to the point where in the morning when I wake up and I like wash my face or do anything, my nose starts bleeding because like the inside skin of my nostrils are so dry. I know that's TMI, but this Miffy humidifier hopefully will help. I just wanted it to be cute. I saw this and I was like, ah, I need it. So let's unbox it. I thought it was gonna be pink, but that's okay. Ah. Guys, oh my god, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I got this little photo rail thing from Pottery Barn Teen, and it's really cool because this front part's actually like a whiteboard. It's just a whiteboard front, so you can like write on it, doodle on it, and then you can place like Polaroid photos and different photos on it. And it's also a no nails hanger, so it's really good for renters, dorm rooms, anywhere if you don't want to like put a hole through the wall. So I was thinking I'd put this right at the entrance of my door just so I can put like any photos or have people drawn it. My dad took all of his tools, which I usually borrow for stuff like this. So I'm putting this up without a level. We'll see how it goes. I know if he watches this video, he's going to be upset that I didn't put a level on. Sorry, dad. <laughs> uh, that's good enough. I think this is so cute because I've always had so many Polaroid pictures and I never know where to put them. That's why I like this shelf because you can actually just like place them here, there's a little ledge, and then have them all displayed. I think this would look really cute and it actually matches the, the furniture that I got. I opted for a shelf instead of artwork because I want to put like plants and stuff. What? Here we go, but this is the wrong side. Oh. <laughs> All of your hack for nothing. Okay, so my walls are part concrete, which makes it hard to drill holes in the wall. So I did get this hammer drill, but my dad's telling me that it might not work. Does it work? Wait, can I see? Okay, let me try this. I don't think this works. I have to use Mining this. Mining for gold. I have faith. That's all you need is just believe that it'll work out. Online, the reason why I chose it is because it also can be used as a regular drill. Yeah, you're not going to use this as a regular drill. <laughs> you can't even hold this like this and try to do it. <laughs> what? I think it'll work. What the heck? <laughs> you get a label for it. Let's see if we can put these back together. <laughs> Like a spear. For heavy duty concrete work. I don't know, I just looked up on Amazon hammer drill for concrete. Okay. This is enough. No more. You know what? Let's try it. 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 Let's try it
know what? I should have got you. Here's the brand new cut. Oh. That would have worked out perfect. Now that I have my shelf up above my bed, I want to add stuff to it like decorative things, books, plants. However, I am going to be traveling a little bit in a couple weeks. I haven't committed to buying actual plants yet because I'm just not ready to be a full-on plant mother. I do have some fake plants that I'm going to use for now, but when you guys are picturing like the full vision, just imagine that there's real plants, okay? It'll look a lot better. TikTok transition. Isn't this a thing? Or it was a thing <laughs> a while ago. This ladder shelf has basically been around the world in terms of my apartment. At first I was going to use it in my office and then it was in my living room at some point. I had it on the other wall of my bedroom. I've realized that it actually fits perfectly on this section here and I kind of like the way that it looks when you first enter. I'm gonna put it here for now. I'm not gonna mount it yet just because I don't have my drill yet, but I like the way this looks and I think it'll look cute when I put decorations and stuff. This is where it is sitting. All right, so I didn't film an outro, but for some reason I did film slow motion shots of me putting a blanket on my bed. But anyway, here is the final before and after of my bedroom. Um, here's the before shot, take it in, remember how empty it is. <laughs> and here is the after. I definitely think it feels a lot cozier. I love the way it turned out. It feels like my little secret hideaway, but like everything, it's going to be a work in progress. I already know that there's a lot more art and plants that I wanna put up, but for now, this is the current state of my bedroom. I think I'm going to be doing my office next so stay tuned for the next apartment makeover video but i hope you guys enjoyed this one keep doodling bye